Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today we are watching a playlist on 2023's external exams in Queensland for general mathematics. And this is a complex um, question from paper two. Um, it's question five on networks. Now, before we get into it, here's some ways that you can engage further with us here. Why not do this right now while I'm talking about it? Like and subscribe. Um, you could hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video is coming out. Why not consider super like and give back a dollar or two to the people that are making your life easier. You could tell someone, tell us in the comments how you found the video or share it on your um, social media page or even consider putting it on your class one note. And why not follow us on Facebook and Instagram? We always love to see you there too. Well, let's get into question five. It's worth seven marks. So this is a heavy question, this one. At 9 a.m., a security guard begins their patrol of the eight work sites represented in the network diagram, starting and ending at site A. They drive at 40 kilometres an hour on the roads between sites and they check every site once for 15 minutes. The length in kilometres of each road corresponds to the terms of the arithmetic sequence Tn equals T1 plus 2 brackets N minus 1, where T1 equals 1. Determine the earliest possible time the security guard can finish their patrol and identify the route they must follow. Now, this is a complex, unfamiliar question. You've got networks here combined with sequences, which I've never seen done before. Hats off to whoever wrote this question. Um, that team did a fantastic job of coming up with something so interesting. So I know a lot of students looking at this question would have probably gone, nah, not happening, and moved on to question six. Um, but it's the kind of question you can see it's worth a lot of marks, seven marks. It's worth having a go. So first thing you want to think about is, is identify what kind of route the security guard is taking. And we've got some clues in the question. Our first clue is that it starts and ends at site A down here. So we know it's some kind of cycle, some sort of pathway through this network that gets back to the beginning. And the second thing is that we're told is that they check every site. So these are the sites here represented by the vertices on the, and the letters. So they're going to every vertex um, only one time. So that's our second clue. Now, what kind of network possibly goes in a cycle and hits every vertex, but not every edge? Well, we know straight away that's a Hamiltonian cycle. Remember, an Eulerian one um, starts with the letter E and so does every edge. So it would go every edge, which is not super efficient. However, every vertex is a much more efficient way of getting through a network. And if you're a security guard, you don't want to drive on every road. You just want to visit the sites and make sure things are okay there. Okay, so we know we're going to be following a Hamiltonian cycle. Now, the best thing to do is we're going to start at vertex A, and we're going to go to the vertex with the highest degree. Um, highest degree means the number of roads coming out of it. Um, I don't know why this works, it just does if you do that. So it enables you to get through the network. Now there are alternative pathways you could find through this network, potentially um, other Hamiltonian cycles. Um, and if you do find an alternative way, that's fantastic. Um, so there are sometimes more than one solution when it comes to this sort of thing, but we'll just follow one way today just to keep it simple. So first of all, we're gonna go from A to G across here. Now from here, I need to make sure I go to every vertex. So if I go, I could go around the bottom of the network, I could go around the top of the network. It doesn't really matter what direction I go in. But if I go straight to C, I'm gonna skip B, and that's not gonna be good because I can't come back through an edge I've been on. So um, I'm gonna use trial and error to move around that network in a circle, roughly, to get back to A. So first of all, I'm gonna go out to B, and then to C, to D, now, if I go to E here, um, I'm going to get stuck at H. I've got nowhere because I can't visit G a second time. So what I'm going to do is go H first and then out to E, then out to F, and then back to A. So that is one possible Hamiltonian cycle. Um, wonderful if you find another. Um, it's quite possible I could have started at A, gone to B, to G, to C. That's another way of doing it as well. So I've got this cycle here that I've written. I've also got the same cycle exactly in reverse. Like I said, there could be other ways of doing this. So because you've identified a Hamiltonian cycle starting at A, you get your first mark out of seven. Now that wasn't super hard. Um, even if you don't know what to do with the sequences, which we haven't started with yet, at least you've, you've worked out the route that this security guard's going to take. 
Okay, so you've identified the route they must follow. You've done that second part there already. Okay, the next thing is we need to work out the length of every edge using this arithmetic sequence up here. Okay, so I'm going to use this information to work out all of these lengths. So the first thing is I'm told T1 is 1. Okay, so that's straightforward. So I can see in this network I've got a T1 here. So straight away I can just replace that with the number 1. Um, and that's all we're doing is we're work using substitution, using the information we're given to work things out. So the next thing I can see in my network, I've got lots of T2s. What that means is it's the second term in the sequence. So over here I'm replacing the N with a 2, the N with a 2. So once I do that, I'm going to be left with a 1 plus 2 brackets, 2 take away 1. Well 2 take away 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, so 1 plus 2 equals 3. So I'm going to replace all of these T2s now with the number 3. I've almost finished, which is fantastic. And it wasn't really that hard. It just seemed hard. So don't outthink yourself. Okay, the next thing, now that I've got T1 and T2, I'm going to add the two numbers together to get T1 plus T2 because I can see two of those here on the network. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. I'm going to replace those two numbers with 4. It really wasn't that hard, was it? Okay, so now looking at what's left, I've got some T3s. And I've got some other weird looking ones here that might feel a bit scarier. We'll get to those in a moment. Let's work on T3 now. So if I know T1 and T2, let's follow T3. So that means I'm going to replace up here N with 3, N with 3. And that's what we get down here. 3 take away 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 makes 5. So let's replace T3 with a 5. Okay, now we've just got to deal with these 2T1s, two 2T2s. Two Okay, that looks a bit scary. Trust me, it's not. Okay, so 2T1 just means two lots of, or two times T1. And we know T1's one. So two times one is two. So let's replace this one here with a two. And it's the same deal here for 2T2. Okay, 2T2 means two times the second term. So two times three makes six. Let's replace those numbers there. Okay, and because we've done that and we've worked out all of those road lengths, um, we now, and we've used that arithmetic sequence correctly, then we've now earned our next mark. Okay, we're almost there. We've actually got something easy to work with. So now our focus needs to be working at this earliest possible time the security guard can finish the patrol. So to do that, what we want to do is follow our pathway, add the numbers up and work out how long this is in kilometres. So we're finding that length of the cycle. So if I add all of these numbers up, I'm going to get 26 kilometres in total. So I've got all of that takes 26 kilometres. But I don't want to work out kilometres. I don't want to, I'm not asked to work out the length. I'm asked to work out the time. And this is where the question becomes complex, unfamiliar again, because we're using prerequisite knowledge from grade nine here um, about distance and speed and time. We've got another mark here for working out our length. But the next step is we need to use that speed of 40 kilometres an hour that we were told because if we've got speed and we've got distance, we can work time out. So the formula is time equals distance divided by speed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 26 here and divide it by 40 kilometres an hour there and I'm going to get 0.65 of an hour. Okay, now if I multiply that by 60 minutes, it comes to 39 minutes. Okay, so don't leave it as 0.65 of an hour. Work it out in minutes because that's going to be relevant up here when we've got to add the time at each site. Okay, so now we're almost there. We've got another mark here for working out that time. But now what we need to do is we need to work out, we know they're at the site, each site for 15 minutes in total. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sites all together. So be very careful you don't count A twice, okay? Because once the cycle's completed and the security guard is then going to continue on back through the cycle again, um, A has been visited for 15 minutes. They don't need to, to do 15 and then 15 to start the next cycle. So don't count A twice. Um, so we're going to add 15 minutes times 8. So 8 times 15 gives us 120 minutes or 2 hours. Add that to the 39 minutes, you get 2 hours and 39 minutes and you get your next mark for calculating the total time for the patrol. Okay, so um, now we need to work out 
when the security guard is going to finish. We're told they started at 9 a.m. up here. So you thought you were finished, you worked out that earliest possible time, but you worked out how long it takes. You didn't work out when they're going to finish their patrol. So we're gonna add two hours and 39 minutes onto 9 a.m. 9 a.m. plus two hours makes 11 hours plus 39 more minutes makes it 11.39 when they finish the patrol. We've got a next mark for determining the time of day. And that was all there was to it. It was a big question, very complex, very unfamiliar. Complex meaning not super hard, but just lots and lots of steps. And it really involved you reading the question super carefully and having a go. So don't let these kind of questions put you off at the very minimum. Have a go. You don't know how many marks you're going to earn if you just try. Well, don't forget to engage with us further here at McClutchy Maths. We've told you about how to do that earlier in the video. Go ahead and like and super like for us. That'd be wonderful. If you've got any questions, you can reach us at McClutchyMaths at yahoo.com. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you so much again for watching today. I'm Natalie McClatchy. Have a fabulous day.